Gaming companies are so worried about modernizing their products and making content for everyone that really they're pushing away the customers they already had and they're making products that appeal to no one. And now a new report is coming out saying Square Enix has removed male and female character options from the upcoming Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, join the community in my live streams, and consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now, over the past couple of years, there have been so many remakes, remasters, and reboots, and while they can be really fun and really good, and obviously these companies can make a lot of money off of nostalgia, unfortunately, we have seen so many of these products be altered in some way, shape, or form, whether it is the script and jokes are toned down or certain dialogue lines are removed because they could offend people. We see costumes and character models altered and censored and just modernized. Unfortunately, we are seeing so many companies try to make content that appeals to everyone that they are creating products that nobody wants to buy. And now a new report is claiming that Square Enix is removing the option for players to choose between male and female characters for the upcoming Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake. This report comes from uh, Raikuta2089, who claims via translation, because they are Japanese, that the game has no distinction between male and female heroes. We're hearing that the characters are now labeled A and B, with the A version appearing like a male hero, while the B version is a female hero. Now, obviously, we have seen this happen a lot with video games, and honestly, even some of the best video games to release, like Elden Ring, for example. While I wish that it was just a gender option and it said male or female, it's body type A and body type B. This isn't very surprising in the industry now, but the major issue with this is the fact that this is not a new product. This is a re- make. So you expect the content to be as close to the original game as possible. And of course, this opens up a whole can of worms because if at the very beginning, when you're booting up the game, when you're going to create a character and you're going to start your adventure, um, there's already a very prominent change. What else is going to be altered? And of course, there are people defending this on social media saying, it's not that big of a deal. You guys are making this into a situation when it doesn't have to be. If it wasn't that big of a deal, why did they change it? Why did they remove the words male and female if it wasn't such a big deal? Clearly, somebody at Square Enix or one of their partners decided this could be a small yet significant change towards modernizing products. Now, of course, we do not know exactly who is working on this project when it comes to narrative consultation companies, but there is a big chance that Sweet Baby Inc. has altered this game because as you can see right on their web page under their client list square enix is their front and center obviously they have been there for quite a long time at this point so we do not know exactly what products sweet baby inc has altered at squeenix there is a chance that this is one it's not on their announced projects list yet i will be keeping my eye on that but we also know that square enix has an internal ethics department of course, just a couple of months ago, they they erased it the like hiring page from their website because they were facing so much backlash. But let's not pretend like they magically got rid of this division. Of course, they probably still have this internal ethics department, and we know that they have censored plenty of things in the past, no most notably um, female character models and outfits. Tifa, in the Final Fantasy VII Remake, this was a major, major situation when the first part came out back in 2019, but Square Enix explained why it changed Tifa's breasts in the remake, and they cited realism, and they wanted her to, you know, look like she could really fight in this outfit she's wearing, even though you have 
crazy magic abilities and you're whipping around a buster sword that's, you know, double the size of Cloud Strife. Um, let's talk about realism when it comes to breasts because apparently that's what they cared most about. But they admitted that the changes were made because of their department. Curiously, the translation mentioned that an ethics department determined that restricting Tifa's chest was done to make sure she didn't look unnatural during fight sequences, and this didn't go over very well, but this is what happens when companies decide to do remakes and then they alter content. You have lost our trust. There are going to be so many people now who are not going to buy this remake because we don't know what else is altered in it. And this article, of course, does also bring up the ethics department and, you know, kind of the track record that Square Enix has that is not positive. And this is such a disappointment to see because I know so many people have loved Square Enix for so long. I have loved Square Enix for so long, but unfortunately they have fallen kind of off the pedestal we had once put them on. Um, Again, we are talking about a change that does happen in a lot of new products, really good games like Elden Ring, Body Type A, Body Type B, but this is a remake. And if it wasn't that big of a deal, why did they change it in the first place? Clearly someone said, this is a significant change that we can make. It is so sad to see so many companies trying to pander to specific individuals who are not going to buy their products. Yes, the activists behind the scenes that you have hired might tell you this is a great idea and it's a change that's going to make you money, but I can tell you as a customer, guaranteed, this is not going to make you money. All you are doing is pushing customers away and proving that you don't really care about respecting the material you had created in the past and the material that fans had loved, and you just care about trying to appeal to modern audiences, as they call them, aka sensitive snowflakes on social media. This report has been blowing up online and so many people are voicing how upset they are with this change. Scratchpoint had made a whole post saying there is some confusion going on surrounding the original. The hero could always be male or female. She just didn't get a separate sprite until the Super Famicom version. All other classes always had distinct male and female sprites. It should be noted that the report does not include any link to an official announcement, so it's unclear what article it referring to in this post because it does say that there is an article that confirms this is happening. However, this is something that many developers are doing in recent years, including Square Enix, so it wouldn't really be surprising if this is the case. There are tons of people saying the ethics department has struck again. This is very confusing. It's going to upset a lot of people, and I totally and completely agree with this. I mean, while they are trying their very best to create content for modern audiences, they're really just slapping nostalgic fans in the face. Now, obviously, this is just a report. We do not have official confirmation. We have not seen any official screenshots, so take it with a grain of salt, but it's a change that wouldn't really surprise me. Square Enix has done worse, and it doesn't shock me to hear that this is now the rumor that is floating around. Obviously, only time will tell. We won't know until it officially releases, and we have confirmation, but for now, that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I'll talk to you guys again in the next video really soon.